Hey guys, it's Thrill again, and today I want to show you some smokes for Bombsite A on the new version of the train that I found in the last couple of days. I tried my best to find some smokes that are easy to throw, but also ones that are very efficient. I found three very nice smokes that will basically split the whole bombsite in half as you can see right here. That will allow you to get into the bombsite with a small number of angles to check before you can get the bomb planted. We will start off with a smoke that will land right in between the spot train and the green train to the right. This smoke will block off anyone holding the side from IV or behind the spot train. To throw the smoke just locate the first yellow diagonal line on the floor right here. Aim straight down and place your crosshair at the point where the diagonal line meets the straight line. From there, aim at the lower tip of this building right here and throw the smoke with a jump throw bind. The smoke will then bounce off the crane above bombsite A and will land right in between the two trains on bombsite A. The second smoke will land on the footboard of the bombsite train. This smoke will block off the vision for everyone holding bombsite A from the train itself. For this one you want to walk up to this cardboard on the ground. Once again, aim straight down and place your crosshair right in the corner as shown right here. Also make sure to stay crouched for the smoke. From there, look up and aim at this barbed wire above the fence. It might be hard to tell on YouTube, but there are some thicker parts on this barbed wire. Looking from the wooden crate on the left side, you want to place your crosshair right on the second thicker part of this barbed wire. If you have some problems finding this against the sun, you could just aim straight at the sun to make it disappear and that will help you find that thicker part on the barbed wire easier. Make sure that you are still crouched and simply release the smoke. It will bounce off the floor and land perfectly on the footstep to smoke off anyone holding bombsite A from the train. Together with the first smoke, this will form a perfect wall and the counter terrorists won't be able to see anyone even if they jump. This last smoke took me forever to find, but this one could not be any better. The smoke basically pops right as it lands and will smoke off anyone looking towards pop duck. For this smoke, you need to jump on the big dumpster near T-spawn. Walk up to the fence towards bombsite A and you want to position yourself right in between these two crates right here. You really need to make sure to be as centered as possible. From there, place your crosshair on top of the center chimney and pull your crosshair just slightly to the right from there. So you don't want your crosshair to be dead centered on that chimney, just place it a bit right from the center. Now you simply release your smoke and look at this beauty instapop as it lands behind the bombsite train. And there you have it, three simple smokes that can make a huge difference when executing a bombsite A push. The way I would recommend you to play this would be the following. Since we have three guys near T-spawn to throw the smokes, make sure to have one guy take control of a pop dog to rush out once the smokes are down. The last member of your team could instantly rush into teammate with a simple smoke like this to hide and wait in this corner. Once all the smokes are down and your mates are rushing into mid to get the bomb planted, you have a great position to flank the counter terrorists from the side or from behind. So I hope that these smokes will be helpful for your next DE train match and I will see you guys next time.